the LinkedIn algorithm, oh, it's a big one, right? It's pretty scary that. Um, I remember when I first got started with LinkedIn, everybody was talking about the algorithm all the damn time. And I, I guess it's probably still the same for those of you who are just starting out. You tend to follow people who are LinkedIn coaches and mentors because you want to learn from them. You want to understand how to use the interface and what best practice is. And then you start to become obsessed with the algorithm and following what it tells you to do to get the best views and the best results. Here's where it comes unstuck. Every few weeks, that algorithm changes a little bit, quite a lot, or dramatic. And all of a sudden, all of the things that you've been doing are rendered useless or not so useless, or actually can just carry on doing them. My point here is I've learned over the last six years, the gurus are going to hear this one. The gurus are going to hear this. I've learned just to ignore the LinkedIn algorithm. There are some things that you can do that are just generally good practice, but the majority of things I do here on LinkedIn aren't about pandering to that damn LinkedIn algorithm. They're about what my audience wants to see, hear, and how I connect with them. So a good hook line that, that makes them curious, a good story that engages them and gives them a narrative, helps them connect, and a call to action that tell them what the logical next steps are. Do that all the time. Hashtags, take them or leave them. Groups, don't really find much value in those. Posting it 8 a.m. every day. Depends when your audience are active. Depends whether you've got a domestic audience or an international audience, or whether you want a domestic or international audience. There are so many variables with the LinkedIn algorithm that honestly, it's a full-time job keeping up with it. That's why there are so many LinkedIn coaches and trainers because they all have their own take on the LinkedIn algorithm and want to train you on how to use it. Are they worth the time and effort? Absolutely. There are some fantastic coaches and trainers out there who, like me, see the fallacies in following the algorithm too prescriptively, but know that there are some basics that you can do, some routines and strategies that you can use with LinkedIn to see the more success. However, there are also quite a lot of people out there who will happily take your money for their digital course, say thank you, bye-bye, and the moment you've downloaded that course, the information in it is instantly out of date. Don't follow the algorithm. Don't be that person. Be you. Magnify you to the outside world, but be who your ideal audience needs you to be. Find the connection between those two. Find the, the connection between your experience and passion and helping your audience follow that, use some simple best practice, but don't get carried away by it. And you will turn your audience into paying clients. I can guarantee it if you're consistent enough. Following the LinkedIn algorithm is a full-time job that will take up the majority of your business week. And you will, before you know it, be paying more money for LinkedIn coaches than you spend on anything else in your business. Won't drive the result you need. I'm here to provide LinkedIn advice and support to all of you who want to turn your audience into paying customers. No, I'm not a LinkedIn coach or trainer, nor do I ever intend to be. But if you got value from this, give me a follow. Would love for you to see the rest of the content. Drop me a message if you've got any questions. Bye-bye.